am not responsible for any outcome regardless. Um, will not take responsibility of any negative uh, outcome. Um, uh, it goes as far as to saying this because I um, am such aware that this form of behavior, regardless if all wants to jump off the cliff, this is the situation. It does not make it right. So uh, enough being said with that. The reason for me to, um, well, okay, well, basically, let's just get into it. Today, it's uh, been about a week now, maybe so, a little bit over a week. Uh, we haven't had any, like, downpour, rain whatsoever. So uh, after, you know, the snow had melted, you know, pretty much three months ago, um, we're now embarking into a very, um, it's a, it's a very uncomfortable situation where there have been breakouts of fires happening in Canada. There seems to be even a closer, um, calamity with this as close as Nova Scotia and also in Quebec, which, you know, Quebec is just, it's pretty much, you know, the, um, less than an hour away. So yesterday I went out and I noticed, uh, the fire has been going on for, for a bit, for, for at least, you know, for at least a good week as well. Um, I'm just, just going on top of my head. I, I can get the, uh, definite actual, uh, time of when this had started, but it's been about a week and the, um, concerns is the quality of the air right now it is not at par. It's not, it's not, um, it's not, it's not as safe as it could be. And this is what smoke does. And it's heavy because, like I said yesterday, I went out, went to venture uh, to a rally yesterday, um, you know, just to see what it uh, was all about and to show um, support uh, in into the, uh, you know, agreement that, yeah, we should be having a more healthier and better life. And there's so much different avenues to really focus on in order to have a healthy life. And um, it's, it's just basically, you know, um, doing your best part individually, collectively, whatever it, 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 it takes. So... What I realized, it was hazy. You can tell that, you know, the sun was out, but, you know, it would, and it didn't look like clouds. It was actually smoke that was actually filtering. And I came, you know, I went and did a little errands, and then I came in uh, maybe about two, three hours later. And um, it, you know, still looked very hazy out there. This morning I get up and um, I smell something. And I was saying, I thought it was something that, you know, what's that smell like burning? And when I went by the uh, window, I realized, oh my gosh, you can smell the smoke so strongly. And it's now like, well, almost 11, 12 o'clock, and you can smell it. It's still, that it's very hazy. And so, you know, Environmental Canada and, and all those who um, are just being conscious and who have the avenue to, uh, you know, consciously, you know, let these people be alerted as to what is going on, um, 
you know, the media per se, um, and other outlets as well too, uh, based on factual information, please. Um, the situation is that uh, the quality of air is poor. It's, it's like, I mean, it can get worse if the um, moment of um, nature comes into combat. And this is the downfall in play. You know what they say is, um, what? Um, the story where uh, the boy who cried wolf and the story is is that every time like he was just seeking attention and his attention and like he would bother his family as to saying something is going on over there and when they go there there was nothing absolutely going on and it seems as though that you know either he's just a pathological liar or just seeking attention so um It came to the point where he was saying that, yeah, there's a wolf over there, there's a wolf over there, and there was no wolf because the family, they had, you know, animals, sheep, and, you know, they would go running, ready to attack the wolf, and he found out, they find out that there was no wolf, they get very upset with him. So he was doing this on a frequent basis to the point where, okay, they said, you know what, enough is enough, and the next time he does it, don't even answer him. And so he, it, by whatever reason, situations did occur where there was a wolf that did venture into the area and it was killing the animal the animals and um peter got very 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 frantic and ups and 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 took off and went home and 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 he went to his mother and she said peter please go and find something to do she wouldn't listen to him he went to to his brothers they won't listen to him he went to his sisters they don't want to listen to him he went to his father they won't he wouldn't listen to him so eventually, eventually, by the time now they all went, you know, to check on the animals and they saw how the animals were slaughtered. And so I, I guess the irony of the story is do not set something on fire if it is not burning or don't fix something that is not broken. Don't create attention if you cannot take the heat. And this is the, 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 the situation that's going on readily in the mental aspects of each and every individual. And what I realize is, is that when I'm listening to the news, I'm kind of like trying to understand what is the cause of this. Because who is being very, who is actually being attacked in this wildlife, vegetation, the trees, um, as such. Now there are controlled burnings where let's just say if you own a particular hectare of land, uh, whatsoever, you know, um, nature does have its way of replenishing itself. Um, and it's not like we're going to play like if we weren't here, then, you know, this would have been happening. So this is the situation where you see now when we go back into certain aspects of the biblical side of it, right, where it explains that God created human being or man. So if that is the situation, and the whole point was to take care of the land, to govern over the land, to be the overseer of the land, sea, and air. Basically, this planet, you know what I mean, to be consciously aware and, and, and to be of assistance, to be of help. So that's why I, I, I come to a point where this is the situation that's occurring because if you don't want to be addressed, then stop creating attention. And I am not per se to flip it on and turn it around, but it is a very concerning factor. How did this fire get so close um, to the point where 
is affecting us here in Ottawa. Now, you can actually start feeling it. So some people will start feeling it by symptoms. And it's good to understand the symptoms of, you know, headache. It may, it may not be a strong headache, but it'll be a light headache. Um, you might start feeling some dryness in your throat. It will affect smokers, those who smoke very heavily and those who smoke moderately and those who seldomly smoke compared to those who do not smoke at all. Each and every section of these type of, 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 uh, of uh, contribution um, affects each uh, affects differently. On a scientific point of view, it is good to understand how it, it affects. Mind you, if it was caused by nature alone, and I have to say that because it, it seems as though that, you know, there's a difference between when human is the counterpart or if it's nature. Now, we're using nature does not mean that this happened by nobody. So that is another issue, too, as to how did these fires get started? Now, the point being is, I've been very quietly, to some degree, and you can tell by the, the number of videos that's been watched, or the number of views on my videos, shows you that is a very quiet, you know, uh, concern, consciousness awareness as opposed to others who are very drastic. They're very volatile with their messages by any means necessary. That, you know, there's something connected why they went to as, as far as they go and is usually, you know, a personal situation. Now, one thing that I noticed was is that those who don't smoke at all, right, um, the um, tactics that is being used to those who smoke um, it's it, 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 it gets to a point where you know this is the situation where we fall in love with our inventions and um, it's like you know the same thing you know you would die for Jesus Christ you would kill for Jesus Christ but on the other hand Jesus Christ says don't kill don't murder so I, I don't know uh, what is going on in each person's mind. And I cannot put myself to really worry about that because then I put myself out. So I cannot do that. I cannot leave my grounds uh, ungoverned as the best of my ability. It's just a very interesting. It, it is when you have young children and so forth, or maybe those who are mentally challenged, that is a different story. Come on, let's just realize that the point is, is when you know that you're able to ride a bike, drive a car, you can go places by yourself whatsoever, you can handle things, you know that you are able to overstand, understand, and understand this situation that's being right now concerned about. Okay, so let's just say that right now, and plus, we haven't had rain, so the ground is very, very, very dry at this point in time. We have to realize also, too, the nature of things. This is not uh, the grass that we have here. Um, it is manufactured, and, and um, what type of grass are we putting on our uh, uh, on the ground and calling it lawn? Um, you got artificial that looks like it's grass and then you got, you know, real grass. And then this is the thing when we're dealing with the soil. The soil is, is dry, even though we just came from, you know, winter and you had a blanket of snow and they all melt. But you see, this is all ties into it because if it's all based on artificial and plastic, uh, to the point in the degree where it's gotten into the atmosphere. So when it rains, 
the acidity of the of the water itself is not quenching the earth as it should because it wouldn't be able to absorb easily um it, it, it tends to dry very quickly. And then we got those who seem as that, you know, for the love of smoking, that they don't want to alter it at all. Like they got uh, a real messed up point of view where you feel like you're being attacked because someone's trying to attack your industry. First of all, when we go back into learning the history about the cigarettes, the cigarettes was basically founded by um, the indigenous uh, peoples that were here living with plants uh, as such at an abundance. Uh, their way of life was very compatible with the way of nature. Um, we wasn't dealing with the whole tribe smoking, um, you know, like frantic um, people with that doesn't know how to handle their anxiety. Um, it was governed by the chief, the leaders of the pack of the tribe, and it would be done in a ceremonial aspect. It would be done more with the rites um, and passages. So that was a controlled atmosphere. And that is why, why I feel as though a controversial topic will take place as to sacred pipe versus cigarette. Because this is the point being, cigarette has now made its billions and trillions of dollars. They were able to turn that money around to do good, meaning to combat the sickness now that it has now incurred. It has caused cancer like you wouldn't believe. These people live on the foundation of cancer because this is the whole point. It brings to them, they say, jobs. It motivates them now to become well. It motivates them now to become a doctor, to understand themselves. Well, that chapter of that book has now passed. These people got inspired through their sickness and through the healing of the tobacco leaf that was shown to them by those who were who used it um, sparingly and sacredly because of the fact at that time a few people who were sick and felt medicinal they were sick in their head they were sick in their body and through the medicinal uh, uh, situation this rituals helped them you can call it voodoo if you like respectfully so let's deal with these things on a respectful matter I am no longer going to allow those who feel as though they're going to use this avenue as maybe to trip you up or to try to uh, dupe you or to try to make you feel guilty and situation as I am not in near, I'm not at all going to join in with your nonsense uh, regardless um, how they want to put it because when your hand is in the cookie jar and you know you do what you're doing that is that onus is on you really respectfully it is on you um but let's just keep this um on 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 a more focused note we're dealing with atmosphere we're dealing right now with the the air quality right now is below uh uh um average to the point where you will have to wear masks or as a, there was a young man yesterday at the rally who put on the uh, gas mask on his face. You will see your eyes might look a little more teary, they'll look more reddish. Your skin might even start to um, be irritant. You might have bumps, uh, you might have rashes, whatever might occur. Uh, if you have asthma, this is not the place. This is not the time. This is the situation. And it just goes to show what it is that we have, what we go through from time to time.
what I noticed that is for the fast, you know, how long that I've been watching this type of attitude where smoking cigarettes and just flicking them on the ground. A couple of years ago, people would say, well, it's on the concrete and they will walk away, leaving it burning. Um, not concerned that a wind will come by and whisk it away and parch it somewhere where it just takes flight. Um, you also have to the point where they will flick it on the lawn or the grass, especially in high traffic area and so forth. They're feeling attacked. They're feeling like, well, I can smoke it back home in my country. Why can't I smoke it here? This is supposed to be a free place. I could do whatever I want. No, you, 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 you know, I mean, there's a constant, let's just say, as they would say, there's a consequences to this. And so what I don't understand per se, we're going to deal with individual basis, but on a collective basis, and let's go to the point where the government First of all, your jurisdiction has been ignored. There were, um, I believe it was the actual, the courthouse on Elgin had a big, um, ashtray, a big, um, yeah, it was a big a cigarette ashtray. I want to call it ashtray. It's made out of stone. You know, it was at least about two and a half, maybe three feet tall. About that. And then inside would be like sand. And people would, you know, put their cigarettes. And I mean, those who were, you know, had common sense, put their cigarettes inside the ashtray. I was, I was just, you know, I was just kind of like taken back as to why is there more cigarette butts on the ground around the ashtray? And then you go on to other areas too, and you see a whole blanket of cigarettes and then you see the dispenser right beside. So what was being said, and I must truthfully say, because it's, it's, it's just the concern as to what kind of messages are we sending. I mean, this is the whole point about the children, right? I said, don't you think they, they're kind of confused as to what the hell? So I can now understand what the fight my parents and the generations before us was fighting with these same groups. But, you know, it's not the same people. It's just, you know, you you teach your children and so their ch their children grow up and say well mom and dad did this so whoop to do and then the other side says well my mom and dad you know whoop to do so the, the the thing is is that uh there was a bill called 130 and there is a bill called 130 which is being ignored because it says no littering as opposed to bill S5, which now targets the production or the manufacturer or the companies that are doing, that are promoting these products. The whole point about us being here on this planet is to be productive and to progress go you know you know you're able to stretch your wings and fly to be oppressed or suppressed you know what i mean is is a very uncomfortable state but some people are so comfortable being that way that they don't really see anything else but to be suppressed they will you don't have to tell them they will do it for for you they will suppress themselves they will limit themselves they will not allow themselves to grow. They will not take risks. This situation is when you take a look at different factors of people, what they will do to, in order to get a message out and what forms of risk will you take 
I am not really going for the daredevil. I'll risk my life if I don't. I know I'll come back. I don't know if I'll come back in situation. And if you don't come back, then how did we, what was resolved? This is what, you know, at the end of the day, we're looking at because we were already going through a, a big, big, a big chunk of our populations all over, you know, has died off a big chunk. And that is the one thing that I am not, you know, um, hearing about as to a lot of empty seats, not just in the home, but in the jobs, anywhere. You'll find that it was a lot of empty seats. So that equates to sink a lot of things because it equates to how many people were smokers, how many people were drug, uh, drug takers, how many people were, 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 you know, sick in their head, how many people were sane, how many, how many of these people that who are no longer here in the flesh, what did they contribute? And so therefore, when we are now asking for balancement all over the planet, this is the situation. I must burn trees to compensate the fact that, okay, the tobacco company pretty much knows how much they, they, they manufactured. They know how much they sent out to, to the stores. You know what I'm saying? So this is, this is what they, what is, they're not coming out on the streets and counting every butts. They're not doing that. They may equate it to as well too when they, they you sick and you go into the hospital and they'll know emphysema whatever kind of uh, 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 diseases that is connected to smoking they too will also know their factor into that people have been asking these tobacco companies to change their product, revamp it, re, not revamp it, but change your product. They, they don't want to change the product. Instead, they want new products to come out and still keep that. Now, at the end of the day, we have to realize situations as such. Because, like I explained, it was the natives, it was the indigenous, the aboriginals, these were the people who used tobacco. Not by blame, not by shame, but by unison. The children now of today are affected by the atmosphere and the environment of what took place. Their heads, their mind is not really in the right place at the point in time situations as such whatever regardless everybody's really got to have to understand that you know this is what it is they also too want to survive they know their uh stake and 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 contribution to this modern time life they don't want to lose their way of life in this fast-paced modern day life that doesn't seem to have any respect to ancient days or ritual days. Well, it, it's to the point. And this is what it is. So what happens to, from what I see, if that is the case, then we have a choice. Either you go to the native man and buy his cigarettes where he would have made it more conducive and balanced with nature. I'm sure enough, he would not have a lot of a, a, a bestos or, or acetate at the end of it while you're smoking 4, 000, over 4,000 chemicals in the stick. Then it's going to go through a filter that has another set of chemicals and then you're going to be smoking that. They say you inhale it in your lungs. Now, when I was speaking about the time, back in the time, let's say, when Christopher Columbus uh, was introduced to the tobacco, it was by pipe. There was no goddamn cigarette, no marble, no, 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 uh, du Maurier, no, 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 uh, uh, you know, whatever the rest of the, the, the camels, whatever the case. No, there wasn't. It was just straight up pipe. 
It wasn't until in the late 1800s is when the invention of the single cigarette now containing the tobacco was implemented into everyday lifestyle. So the fact is, is that the numbers must be dropping, not just by people just saying they're quitting, but just, just let's just say that it's killing off a lot of their it's consumers. So the awareness is, is that how well are your consumers? How well are they in their head to understand that in times like this, when now the ground is very dry, wherever you are, and you get that feeling like now all of a sudden the nicotine now hits you, now you got to have a smoke, or you just went through something stressful, oh, you got to have a smoke. And you're so maddened in your head. That by the time you're finished with it, you just flick it. And it's worse too. Only nature knows exactly what else is burning in the air with it. So all these factors have to take place and keep in mind. I cannot allow people, other people who feel that they're qualified for whatever reason to come and tell us, it's like this, don't ask no questions. No, that time does not exist no longer. Knowledge is abundance. Knowledge is forever. Knowledge will be free to land wherever it feels and welcome to be. So this is the concern. It's concern because to even see and watch people go outside and go smoke on top of this. <laughs> this is another thing because they're they're, they're saying on the on on the on the on the media uh, mean uh, mainstreams, you know, burning in effect meaning no barbecuing. They're not saying anything in, in detail from this saying no burning. So if you're saying no burning, what do you mean no burning? Nothing to deal with any uh, light of fire outside, right? So basically no barbecuing. Don't not even no smoking because you're just adding to the quality. And then hmm, where, did, where, 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 where the police, where the bylaw, you're not supposed to be on feet now, on bicycle now, now and vehicle now to, 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 to make sure that, you know, these people who feel say they don't need to apprehend to this type of rule or respect the law to be apprehended. Like, I mean, you know, you can only catch so much people on, 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 on driving, but on foot, you know what I mean? Why? Like, I, w w that would, I would learn from that lesson to $500, $500 fine or whatever, a thousand dollar fine. I would learn that lesson real quick. Because at the same time, too, the government need to understand is that you pass these laws and they've been you've been ignoring it for how many years and now we're now getting this other law now a bill coming in and this is all it is you know I mean we've got so much intelligent people always running and back and forth the swinging doors into Parliament out of Parliament you know what I mean all over the world and and and, and this and this and that all they do is making bills making rules making rules making rules make and nobody's abiding by it and nobody's enforcing them. You want to you, you want to enforce laws, black man being black while driving. Huh? So 
the 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 situation the situation comes at hand as to realize this is this is where it's at at this point in time um cuz i mean we want to see something you know more positive throughout the whole throughout the whole scope of people who are addressing this on different levels it's not going to be just only going to, you know, um, satisfy one group only. You may have non-smokers, but they could be drinkers. And then you might have people who don't partake in any of these things at all. You still got to come to this situation when it happens. You are forced now to see the situation. So this is the whole point. You want to sit there not to get dirty, but at the end of the day, you see what happens. You're going to have to realize. And so not being exposed to it does not make you better because now you're in the situation it makes you feel worse. So at the end of the day, we can sit there and say, well, this and you can say that. So I just, I just simply, you know, um, go about my day Overstanding what I can, understand what I can, understand what I can. It goes as far as to also driving. Driving right now is going to even boof up more this pop, this pollution more. And now the the new train station the new train uh LRT that they just uh, uh 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 built here in the city is is going through its is is its hoops and they had to slow it down so there's more buses now being run that's not a good sign but at the same time people got to go to work they got to do what they got to do so, so you see the situation is that's why the train came into place Look at the volcanoes. Can you can you, can you imagine the amount of smoke that come out of the volcano? Eh? And it drop its ashes all over the place. That when when the planet talking, man, we all gotta listen. Whether we like it or not. Carbon seems to be a factor in this place, especially when you got less trees now. Filtering, being able to filter this. I mean, this is not no plug-in, okay? We, there's no plug outside there, you know what I'm saying? Turn the trees on and, 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 and let them filter the carbon. This is the thing. They're burning the trees, or the trees are getting burned. And so now with all this pollution now taking place in the air all year long, this is what's happening. And then you want to turn around and blame who? Point the finger at yourself first, because even if it's not you, I'm sure enough, somewhere down the line, it doesn't matter. The point is, if you have solutions, then create the solutions. But the problem is, so easily to, uh, to, to make a problem. So easy. But there are so many different forms of solutions, and this is what keeps us busy every day. I don't have time for this fake facade of trying to make a point while you're damaging yourself and the planet at the same time. And we may do it ignorantly. That's the thing. Now when you come to realize to a certain degree, do you think that a person, first of all, you can't tell me I'm going to pat somebody on the back and give them bravo for how many, well, over 100 years now, 1870, you, you, you're looking at least 100 and, 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 and basically, what, almost 150 years almost of this product. And in its, in, in its lifetime or in its death time, look, 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 look what it's produced. 
nothing good. Nothing. The only thing good it did was that its first time. And at its first time, it wasn't in the cigarette basis or in the cigarette form. It was in the tobacco leaf form. And it was given to take, you can put it on wounds. You could put it, uh, you can make tea with it. You can do things, other things other than just smoking it. It, it, it allowed the people to heal. And then look where it took off to now. Look where it is at now. So I really, I, I really am not going to be angry with the aboriginals or the indigenous, the natives of the land who says, look, we shared something with you all and look where it's gone to now. And even now it's even come back home. As they say, the chicken now has come home to roost and look what the rooster, the chicken so-called rooster have an emote he have in their cigarette product. Sicken with it, drunken with it. So as they say, you know what I'm saying, the boomerang effect. And it's not something that somebody purposely done, but it knew that it was going to take its turn to come back around for some reason. This is the situation. You can't tell me that, oh, we must get mad at the ancestors who shared this with, with Christopher Columbus and then he shared it with the rest of the, the world. You cannot tell me or, you know what I'm saying, or vice versa because, I'm, you know, I'm not going to put the onus just on them. But the point is, this is, this, is, this is the situation where you're saying that, you know, you, no, they were doing things um, in a um, helpful manner. So, the, the, the situation is now, right now, is, is what it's caused. It's, it's caused illness and even through generational because the fact is two smokers in the family is not really a, 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 a healthy situation when you, when you take a look at it. After now doing intensive uh, analysis and, and, and reflection, and realizing but at the same time when you look at different areas of race our bodies may handle certain toxins differently um, to vamp it up to, 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 to make it um, equivalent to, 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 to your devastation that is an unfair that is unfair and that, 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 that's an unfair intention that backfire and will backfire And the, the, the disrespect of throwing the products on the ground. Um, they have dispensers all over the place. The dispensers should be put in the right places where you see the heavy footwork or cigarette uh, dumpings. That's where the most majority is smoking. It, 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 um, you don't want it to be around children and so forth, but these people got children. They smoke in front of their children. And this is what they feel is that they need to teach their children because they say, well, as long as we can protect ourselves, is it a form of protection though? Exposing to, to, to a high level. So this is where it comes with the education and understanding. Uh, um, ain't nobody really going to tell you how to, to, to live with it, how to, how to use it. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't supposed to be a recreational, everyday habit. So why create a product that makes you hooked onto it? So therefore, instead of you going to uh, the reserve or going to the aboriginals to, for their quality, no, you're going to come back to theirs and be forced to come back to theirs. And this is the, this is the wrong enforcement that is, that, that's taking place. You, you would think that the police there are enforcing on um on a neutral basis you're not choosing sides you're just seeing the situation as it is uh and you shouldn't i mean <laughs> you shouldn't be forced to not enforce the proper thing and that is what's taking place this is but now this is really now about the war of strong minds you know and as and and and, and it's, it's ref, and it's showing in the areas of places in hospitals between doctors and nurses the right thing to do uh, compared to the wrong thing uh, uh, 
every basically um, position that you see available there's always going to be choice and consequences based on this because you don't know who you're helping and you don't know who you're damaging and that's the fact and um, we realize some people don't like the truth some people rather fabricate it sugar it down add a little this a little that and some people just take it straight on the rocks so that is not going to curtail me as to how I choose to raise my children um, based on the factuals that's taking place as opposed to other people that might try to think that, well, you know what I mean, their way is better way uh, whatsoever, whatsoever, and it causes a separation, an unhealthy separation as such where your your words and your action is is just as damaging as the product that you're against that's the concern some people's actions is probably even worse than the problem itself just to make a point I can feel the air quality. I can feel the difference in the air quality. I can feel the dryness. I can feel like um, when you have the windows open and then you see a woman coming out there pushing stroller. Um, acting like it's, it's a normal thing. But some people are different. Some people, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll put themselves through the test. They'll experiment themselves. Because they might have, you know what I'm saying, a little more knowledge in the head than we might think. Why you think they're out there running up and down or walking in this situation. Now, everybody is built the same way. So this equality as to what you think is equal to you may not, you don't need to address it to somebody who is not, doing it your way um, per se because you never know they might be going through it themselves for a reason how would you know and that's the beautiful thing about the body it has a mechanism where it can rejuvenate itself it went it went to this destination and now you come back and you realize something changed and now you are able to address it with whatever probable uh, solutions and this is this is this is this is now the self-analysis then report journalize it and then this is the situation because at the end of the day some people really don't care for their lives Cutting down the smoking, cutting it down with a, to stop it abruptly, but to cut it down is another thing as well too. So that's that's one thing. I I would be very 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 curious as to find out who out there barbecuing today, boy. <laughs> hey. Who out there having a little puff puff? Go, go, go. <laughs> who gonna sneak? Who gonna sneak a little puff puff outside there? Yeah, yeah it's the same. You know what I mean? Cause they're not gonna allow. What, what, are they allowing people now to have a building structure where it's gonna be ventilated, where it's particularly designed for for a smoking environment? Because the other people out there are saying, "Look at these crazy people." Be crazy, you know what I mean? Why not just sit them in a cubicle box and fill it with smoke and see how comfortable you feel? Then they will turn around and say, "This is your lungs, and this is what it is going on and on and on, right?" But you know what I mean? This is the situations where we get high off of life, we get high off what the plot, we get experience this and this and that. And I'm saying, I mean, it's it it it, it is definitely uh uh um. Uh, A journey 
And um, the shame that they try to put on us, uh, the bashing of our addiction, but at the same time, they're profiting off of it as well, too. So um, it gives them a job as well, too, to sit there and, 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 and what do they call it? Slut shame? No, no. To shame people and to um, just go to the, you know, as far left as possible. And, they're, they're, you know, I mean, there's the, the, the ones who are really sitting there with the, you know, who have really been profiting off of this for generations. Um, it, that, too, is kind of a form of addiction as well, too, because you're, you're so used to this lifestyle now. Like, ain't nobody telling you to take off your, your glass slippers and go wear plastic flip-flops. But the choice is yours. You could go barefooted too, but oh my bad, no. You rather put uh, synthetic and 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 poison stuff on the lawn so that not even the birds can even damn well eat your eat, eat your worms. So, um, yeah, that's that's the uh, overall summary for June sixth, twenty twenty three. Um, again, after this, uh, this conversation I had, it's still looking out the window and it, 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 it's like, you can just, just smoke, like you can just see, it's, it's like, it's very, it's cloudy as well, but you can see the haziness and you can, you know what I mean? I closed the, the, the door so I can't really smell it at this point in time, but I'm going to venture out there as badass as I am. And, um. I do have things to do as well, too. And people got things to do. I have things to do. Oh, boy. That's what it is. Signing out.